Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video we are gonna be hooking up and installing the wiring and breakers for an outbox for a garage or a pull barn. In this case, it's kind of a combination of the both. We have our snow plow and utility truck in here. First and foremost, make sure your power is disconnected, making sure there is no power to this box while you're working on it. You do not want to electrocute yourself. So get a voltage tester and make sure that this box and all the connectors and wires are not hot before you proceed in this video. And so we're gonna be showing you how to do that. If you haven't watched the video already, we discussed the easiest way to pull wires. As you can see here, we have our wires already pulled and that video is already up on the channel. We have our LB box right here, which is connected to the guest house. That video is already up once again. Now we're gonna discuss how to do this and how to install it here. We have our tools laid out right here. First of all, different colored uh, tape for, uh, we'll need uh, the green to uh, designate the uh, ground. If you didn't if, what, buy white wire, you'll need a white tape. Others for uh, distinguishing um, different wires in the circuit. This, if you're uh, crimping on uh, connectors such as this on stranded wire that you're hooking up, vice grip. This is to cut large cable with or wire with, channel locks, Allen wrench set, the all encompassing uh, lineman's pliers, tape measure, utility knife for cutting uh, large wire installation, nippers, Phillips, standard screwdrivers, four in one, and a wire stripper, and then the uh, voltage tester. So the first thing we're gonna do, back up here, we're going to um, cut a particular amount, probably about like this, strip it back and slip into the, one of these holes here, probably this guy right here. And then we'll put our ground, which will be this one, this is the number eight. These are all number sixes. Now, you are allowed to have your neutral of the next size down from your uh, primary hot wires because it carries just the load and balance, but I chose to make them all the same size. Okay, so we're going to cut the white wire first, and it will go into this one right here. I always like to leave just a little slack in case I have to move it around, so we'll cut it here. And if you watch that wire pull video, that's why we have about six feet or so of extra wire coming out of the LB is we just didn't want to have too little. It's better to have too much. Okay, you'll want to angle your cut on your insulation. It's too big to use the wire strippers themselves on anything bigger than number 10 wire. So you have to go with this kind of designation. The power is off, by the way. We've already checked it. Uh, it's never been installed at the other end. So things are safe. I can safely touch the bus bars here. I'm going to make sure all of your wire, or insulation, I should say, is off. That would cause troubles downstream. Try not to nick the wires. That's why I'm cutting it at an angle. And plus, with an angle, it's a stronger uh, transition from the insulation to that. Okay, so we're just about perfect there. You're looking at about a little over about a half inch of exposed wire there. And it goes up and knocks against this plastic thing which prevents it from going into what will become the hot bus bar. Open this up a little bit, enough to insert my wire. You don't want to back it all the way out, it'll fall down, it'll be hard to get there. Try not to have it where it pushes the wires out. You want to make sure they all go into the hole, the proper hole there. Now I'll t tighten it down very snugly. All right, so as you see here, it is inserted and it is totally okay to have a little bit of exposed wire there. Now we'll put this over to the grounding bar again in a sub panel. This is a sub panel because it's sub to the main panel. You need to have uh, your grounding bus bar separate from your neutral bus bar. They don't want the electricity going through the ground. You don't only want the electricity going through the neutral. The only time I'd go through the ground if there's a short or a fault in the system. And again, the ground is gonna be the eight gauge. And we will color code that in just a minute. I'm just measuring how much to cut. And we'll do the same process. To cut down on the video length, 
It's gonna be the same process as the white one with the utility knife. We'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, so this is where color coding your tape comes in handy. We are gonna be using green electrical tape here, and we're gonna be putting that on the ground wire so we know it's ground, and then also inserting it in the slot right over here. It's cut, again, the same length as the neutral wire here. You don't need to go all the way down very far, just enough to show that it is the designated ground wire. So I wrap it with a spiral wrap. All right, as you can see here, the ground is sticking out a little bit, but it is not touching the side of the box at all. It's just hanging out a little bit with a little exposed copper here, and that is completely fine there. It is, of course, wrapped in green tape, and we know that that is ground. All the two hots, two hots here. One will go here. So between the two, you get 220. Between any of them and this, you get uh, 120. First one, we're gonna do it right here. Same method, cutting, measuring it out so there's not too much of a bend in the box here. We'll be back with you. All right, we have our first hot wire here, over here, again, coming into this slot here. This one over here, once again, triggers up here, this one, this one, and this one. Our next wire we're gonna be putting in is this one right here, our other hot wire, which is gonna go into this one here, which is gonna be this one, this one, and this one, which is gonna give us 220. Just this one alone would be 120, both combined is gonna be 220 here. We'll go ahead and do that same method to that fourth wire now. All right, our fourth wire is in, our second hot wire, fourth wire total. So we now have all four inside your box, it's looking really clean inside. Okay, next step is installing the breaker. This is the box that the sub-panel came in. You'll notice it's a circuit breaker load center. It's got six spaces for t as maximum of 12 circuits, and you need to make sure that your breakers that you put in there are compatible, and so these are square D Home line breakers, this is a really good brand for virtually any residential light commercial activity. We'll have that linked in the description box below the video. If they sell it, we'll go ahead and uh, save you the time and uh, link that below. The covers to the breaker, or the uh, service panels or sub panels, always come with at least one knockout because you know you're going to have at least one circuit. I'm actually going to put in temporarily these two. I say temporarily because we don't have any uh, uh, branch circuits to uh, install yet. And I'll show you how that's done. You um, take your handy Lyman's pliers, and I need to break out one more opening. And so you twist it, just like that. And it comes out easy. Put the breakers in, because you always want to, because this will be hot eventually, right now there's no juice to it. So the breakers go in, you see the little tabs here on this home line? They fit under here and here, and then this portion slips right over these prongs, and that's what gives the uh, current to flow, and then you'd be hooking your wires into these screws. And we'll show you how to do that in a separate video, but for right now, we'll just put them in here, snap it in, easy installation. Position it back in, now you see they're good. And as a force of habit, I always turn off the... Um... Now you notice there's a soft snap at first, that's because they test them at the factory. And uh, you should hear a nice solid snap, like what you just heard. All right, once you are clicked in again, then set up your top box cover. Screw in your bolts here and here, and now our switches are ready to go. You do have your numbers up here where you can label it correctly to where these switches go to. Laundry room, furnace room, you guys get the idea there. It's all bundled up, looking good. No wire sticking out. The LB box cover is on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you have appreciated the video. Subscribe on your way out. Some great DIYs on this channel. Save some money and learn some great techniques and home improvements. Take care. The party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.